Hello everybody, this is HD Shapes here. I'm back with the video. Hope this finds you well and in good spirits. So you can probably tell from the thumbnail that today we're going to be using the new release from House of Mammoth and Barrister Man known as Smash, which is a uh, bourbon cocktail. I had never heard of it, but it sounds pretty nice and perhaps I'll make one at some point. Um, a kind viewer and supporter, supporter of the channel sent me a sample of the soap that I've got here in my bowl and I'm just going to provide first impressions um, about the scent to you. Uh, I think I'll be sort of uh, happily uh, content with the soap base as it's the Tusk base that I've used a number of times on the channel. But um, I just have it uh, here and like I said this will be my first time um, talking to you about it. So the scent is not as sweet as I would have expected and somehow it's not as um, boozy either. It's a very warm sort of scent, um, a little bit warmer than I expected. And there is something familiar um, about this. There's something about the um, fruity, um, boozy sort of thing. It almost reminds me of like a cognac uh, kind of a smell. And I say cognac specifically because there is some other scent and shaving that I've used that has cognac as a listed note that this kind of reminds me of. Um, if anybody else has any um, uh, other scents that Smash uh, reminds them of, uh, feel free to leave a comment. But yeah, this, the, the scent is really nice. It's actually quite strong. Um, it's stronger than I would have expected. I would say this is at least a 7 or 8 out of 10 on the arbitrary scent strength scale. Um, but it's a definitely a nice scent, like I said, a little bit darker and more soothing, soothing for the um, colder weather that we're going to be experiencing in the northern hemisphere here pretty soon. Speaking of the weather, as you can see, sun is just pouring in through the uh, bathroom window today. It's basically the opposite of the weather um, last time I recorded and uh, just kind of a wild uh, autumn here in Chicago. Okay, the other uh, sort of exciting thing that we'll be using today is this Chevette um, sold by Maggard Razors. Uh, this is a clone of a Kai folding razor. I forget the specific name, but um, as luck would have it, Maggard also sells that Kai razor. And it takes uh, injector blades. So I've got a, um, look, you can see the camera there. <laughs> Um, I have a supply injector blade loaded up in here, and I've heard a couple people talk about how they like this form of the Chevette's because you don't have to use half a DE blade. You can use a thicker blade like the injector, and that you know provides a more uh, rigid uh, blade feel. And so far, I've really enjoyed how this razor has felt. So um, I'll be talking about that, and let's just go ahead and get into the lathering process. And then we'll wet the brush through. So like I said, the weather, it's been really wild here. This is certainly the warmest it has ever been at this point in the season in my this is going to be my fourth fall winter here. And yeah, like today it's going to be over 70 degrees and sunny, um, which is really bizarre. However, I think the drop is finally coming for real. Uh, it looks like the temperature is going to steadily drop. And then next week, the highs are consistently in the 30s. <laughs> um, maybe we'll have a little bit of snow. I think it was on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, I, honestly, I, I think we're, we're a little bit due for some actual cold weather. Although, they always say here that the, the worst doesn't really come until after the new year. Um, however, I, I think this year it, it's, it's going to be easy to remain optimistic going into the, to the new year. You know, sometimes if the, the weather is so bad in November and December here, then by the time you get to the new year, you're already sort of sick of it, over it. Um, but uh, this is my last thing about the weather, is, is sometimes when it stays this nice for this long, then you worry, well, then is winter gonna be longer than usual? Um, so we'll just have to see. And you know that you'll get your weather update um, from this channel. Um, 
when the time comes. The scent um, isn't really changing too much. Um, again, still pretty dark. Um, and uh, let's call that good. And let's add a little bit of water to this. And then we will start our face lather. So, again, very thankful to my friend who sent me this uh, sample here. And um, most of you all know by now that um, I don't buy too many new soaps, so I'm not going to necessarily try it if people don't um, send me a uh, sample of stuff. So, like I've always said, I'm, I'm very thankful to the people who reach out and send me things so that I'm not just using uh, tobacco all the time. <laughs> um, I'm realizing now I never mentioned that specifically, of course, this is the Mammoth Soap Base and then Will of Bear Stream Man um, did the scent. So, um, yeah, I think this is a cool collaboration. Um, I, I, I think those two, um, Ben and then Will, I think the two of them have a lot of respect for each other. And um, it's always nice when uh, people can collaborate and, you know, ac um, acknowledge the presence of one of their so-called competitors. Um, and, um, you know, that's always nice to see. They did a uh, live on Instagram uh, a couple weeks ago, and that was really interesting to um, see them talk and um, yeah, it was it was a uh, definitely learned a lot from that. So I'm going to keep uh, building my face lather, and I'll bring you back in. I'm going to start my first pass with the Maggard Shavet. Okay, we're back, and I'm definitely happy with this uh, lather result here. I've noticed that I have these little hairs that grow um, where I put these little slots, so I'm just going to trim those very lightly. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's let's go on the first pass with this uh, shavette here. It's got some. Audio feedback, but not a crazy amount. And uh, something that's nice about this razor is I feel like um, it it gives you a good amount of feedback relative to your angle. Which is to say that if you have it too flat, it doesn't feel like it's doing much of anything. But as you add more angle to it, you can feel the blade sort of engaging more. Um, so I would say that it's user friendly in that respect. I'm a little bit surprised as to how strong this soap scent is. Um, I was thinking it would, you know, lose a little scent maybe, um, coming over in just a little plastic bag. Um, but, uh, if you are looking for something strong, then I could definitely recommend, uh, Smash to you. Let's go ahead and rinse. Tusk base feels very nice. It 
This razor you can buy under a different um, brand name directly from some of those uh, Chinese vendor sites. But in, in most cases, I don't feel like it's necessarily worth it. Um, because Maggard sells them for a good price and you know, I, I would rather buy from a different country than China in most cases, you know. Um, so definitely a cool thing that you can use these um, injector blades. I would kind of written off injector blades, I just didn't like the, um, well, injecting mechanic. Um, But now I'm back into it a little bit here. All right, try to go very lightly there. So let's rinse and I'll come back for pass number two in just a moment. Okay, here's pass number two with Smash. Okay, let's do our second and final pass with the Maggard Chevette. We'll start uh, right hand, left side. Wow, that feels really smooth. This is a really nice feel uh, on this razor. So I've used this a few times this week, um, and I realized after the first or second shave that I didn't have the the blade totally level in here, uh, which is to say it is possible to have the blade secure in this razor, but it, the edge is not totally um, flat. So uh, keep that in mind if you try one of these. Like I mentioned, I do have a um, supply injector in here. And that's just because um, that was the one that my friend happened to have to uh, pass along. I, I, th that song, um, I Get By With A Little Help From My Friends, that really applies to me. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you could definitely go down the rabbit hole of trying different injector blades with this razor um, to see which one suits you best. The scales are A little more loose than I'd like for this pass, but I think I can go in and tighten this uh, screw right here. We'll have to see. Great performance from the soap. Um, that worked up a lather with no issue whatsoever. And let's try our fool's pass here. Okay, let's feel around. Uh, I did miss my little hair there. <laughs> like I said, I got one hair that sticks up kind of high. I think that's it. Yep, 
We got it. Okay. Always a little bit in the corner. Let me check the right side. Okay, we're going to call that a great shave. Uh, we'll rinse and I'll come back and talk to you over post shave in just a moment. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back and because the weather is so nice outside and because I want to stick with this soap scent for as long as possible, let's use some Chateau Looks Unscented Toner. i uh, been using the balm uh, from Zingari those days um, for the past month or two, but um, yeah, I don't feel like I need the full balm protection today. Let me just use a little bit of the toner. So really impressive uh, shave today from that razor. Again, I think it's, um, its main benefit is that it just feels um, very uh, proportional with its aggression and um, it's just easy um, to figure out what you're doing, you know. It didn't take me too long. Uh, once I got the blade straight in there, um, it uh, didn't take me too long, you know. It's a, it's a clone of a razor, so of course, you know, the quality and the craftsmanship is not what you're buying it for. But um, just as a way to dip your toes into the open blade thing, I think uh, this is not a bad option. So if I remember, I'll, I'll put a link to um, one of the listings on Maggard's site. Of course, they sell the razors with a bunch of different colored scales, so you can take a pick. Okay, um, let's do, well, I guess everything uh, we've recapped except um, I used the Yaki uh, synthetic and the soap, uh, House of Mammoth, Bear Strand Man, Smash. Very cool scent, darker than I expected, I think pretty stronger than I expected too, and I think it's a nice one. So. I hope you'll consider checking it out. Uh, you can buy it directly from Mammoth site and also some of the uh, retailers like Maggard um, sell it. So, hey, there you go. You could buy this razor and Smash at the same time from Maggard. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far, feel free to leave a comment or a question down below. And for now, this has been HG Shaves. Take care. We'll see you again next time. Goodbye.